Mommy, you need to sit down. Don't like that. You need that one? Um, Oh, like that. Are those all yours? That, that, Mum. Oh, is this one for Mummy? Thank you. Yes. Is the rest all yours? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fight that first. No, we'll do yarn first. Oh. Yeah, should we do yarn first? Then I've got a big old bag of yarn. I need all colours. You need all the colours? Yeah. Well, shall we say hello to the camera first? Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the Nidic Expat Podcast channel. I am here today with my daughter Layla and we are about to do my Rhinebeck haul video. And we're going to start with the yarn first and then we're going to move on to miscellaneous things and then we'll do fibre. I only did one. You want all the little ones? Yeah. Okay. Oh. You tuck it. So as she pulls things out, I will try and explain what they are. Can you show that to the camera? No, no. Well, can you show it? So this is a mini skein set that I got from Landstrom's Yarns. Uh, the lovely Shana um, <laughs> gave it to me as yarn support for an upcoming design. That, 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 that. Yeah, can I show it to the camera quickly? Can I borrow it? It's on her Trala La Sock base, which I think is a 75-25 merino nylon. Yeah, are you holding it upside down? Do you want to turn it around? Yeah. <laughs> Almost. But yeah, so it's in a range of like greys to blues to greens and a dark dark greys at the other end. When she finally lets go, I will show it to you up close. It's so soft yeah, can you get the next lot out? So this is what the mini skeins look Mama, like. Mommy. Yeah, it's okay, it's yours, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, and these are the rest of the outside. No, no, they're my, my red one. <laughs> okay. So next up we have five skeins from Leading Men Fibre Arts. Can I show it to the camera? Uh, this one. Oh, I can show this one. Can yeah. I show the other ones as well? That. And that one. And one more? No. Can I show these ones? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, well, thank you for being polite about it. So I have these four, plus the red skein in her hand, which would go next to this skein at the top here. I, I, I got the red one. Yeah, can you show the red one to the camera as well? Good girl. It matches your top, doesn't it? It's the same colour as your top. That, that, that. that mine. Is that, I don't think that one's for you, Layla, but I've got another one for you that's uh, red. Uh, I, that, that red. Yeah, it is red. I, 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 red. You want that one to be a jumper? Yeah. Well, it will be a jumper. Layla. But you want it to be a Layla jumper? Yeah. Well, we'll see what we could do about that. Um, but these are five skeins of the Leading Men Fibre Arts um, non superwash merino fingering weight base. It's their Broadway base. And um, it's 436 yards in 100 grams. So this one, the red one, the colorway is Poison yeah. Apple. I'm just reading the colors, honey. The red one is Poison Apple. This one is rusted. This one is auburn. This all like brownie red. No, 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 red. That, that, red. That one's red, yeah. And then this one is smoky quartz, which I actually used this colorway for a pair of socks I designed earlier this year. You showing off the yarn? Good job. And this last yellow skein is oh, I got two skeins of smoky quartz. Oh, funny that. I thought they were different colours, but they're obviously different dye lots. <laughs> they were obviously different dye lots, but I thought they were different colours. So, anyway, um, it will still work because because they are different dye lots. It will work the same. Um, so they're going to go together. Okay, so so far the mini skeins and the red are for Layla. We will see how this goes. I need to cut this. Are those the colours for you? I have one more skein from Leaning Men Fibre Arts, and that is on that, the that, Copper Cloud colorway. That, that, that mommy. Those ones are for mummy. Thank yeah. you. That, 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 my that one's for later. Okay. So I have another skein from Leaning Men Fibre Arts, and this is on their DK base. This is their uh, Drama Turk base. 
um, in the Copper Cloud colorway. It's 250 yards and 115 grams. And this is gonna be for a charity project design that I'm gonna be working on soon. Did I say what the colorway was? Yeah, Copper Cloud, I did say that. Then next up, I have four skeins of this. Uh, oh, I should have said the yarns from Leaning My Fibre Arts were also yarn support. Yeah. Well, the yarns from Leading My Fibre Arts were also yarn support for designs. Yeah. Is that one yours as well? Yeah. Okay. Layla's amassing quite the collection already. You organising? Go there. That goes there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then this was also yarn support. But let's be honest, most of this was yarn support. I think I only bought one skein of yarn this entire weekend. That entire weekend. Yeah, well, can I show it to the camera first? Yeah. Thank you. So I have this skein of um, Lambda Loon Yarn Company. I actually have four skeins of this, but I only brought one to show it on camera. I need it all colored. Yeah. And this is in the Seance colorway. It's 300 yards in 250 grams. It's a superwash merino bulky. And this is gonna be a really, really fun project. I'm looking forward to that. Layla's organizing all of her colors. Um, <laughs> next up, we have another spread of quantity of yarn. This time it's from Farmer's, five, uh, Farmer's Daughter's Fibers. That's not brown, that's gray. Can you show it to the camera? So the one that Layla's got is on her Odang base, which is a um, Suri Alpaca. Oh my What's that, Layla? I'm just reading this. It's a Suri Alpaca silk blend. It's 328 yards in 50 grams, and the grey colour that we have here is called, Paul, it's called Paul Newman. Yeah. Can, can I just show it to the camera really quickly? So it's this kind of like warm grey. I guess it's probably the best way to describe it. It's got some like purple undertones, which I've chosen to match Mama, with um, her DK Pishkun base. Mommy. I think that's how you pronounce it. Mommy, it's 100%. Uh, uh, it's, mommy. Yeah. It's, you can uh, have it one second. It's 100% Montana and Wyoming Rambouillet, 255 yards in 100 grams. And the color is Sinopa. It's this lovely sort of like warm purple. So my idea is to hold these together. Uh, I, I need more. What? Yeah, I'll get that out in a second, honey. The idea is to hold these together for a that, cardigan. Um, I, I need more Do you want these ones? This. Okay, we get that. All right. Um, I, I need more red. Okay, so I guess we're getting these ones out then, are we? Get, get more red. Yeah. So I also have these skeins from Duck Duck Wool. Yeah, you, you've got enough room there. You're running out of space, aren't you? Look at her little uh, line up there. Just lining them all up. Very discerning. That, um, um, this goes. <laughs> that, that goes there. That one goes there, okay. That, that goes Oh, you're losing the colours off the end here. Let's scooch up a little bit. Okay, so I had those four, five. I actually had two skeins of the red. I don't know where the other one was oh, in here. Um, so the red colorway is called Spellbreaker. Oh, I, I, I like this one. Okay, so the red colorway is called Spellbreaker and it's from Duck Duck Wool. I need that. Yes. Uh, the lovely Sandra, who's the dyer behind it's Duck Duck Wool, gave what, what, me the yarn what, what, for what? to design the sweater for Layla and I'm going to be designing a the child's rest, version. What's up, Layla? One more in a second. I'm going to be designing a child's version of the forage sweater, which is that colorwork sweater I did recently out of Lavender Loon. So you might recognize the colorways are very similar. So We've got red with the contrast colors of that yellow, gray, and green, which is what I had on mine, but slightly brighter colors for Layla. So the red is Spellbreaker. The yellow is Family Table. The gray is down feather, which I really love this gray. No, no, and the green, can I just show it really quickly? The green is Merry no, of Soul. No, no, no. Okay, no. it's a very yellow green, which I quite like. I, I can take this one. Yeah. That. And then this was a gift from the lovely Kristen of Bull and Vine Yarns. I need it. You need to show that to the camera. It's on her footsie base, which is a BFL nylon sock yarn. And um, sure. Can I see it? No. It's, it's in her anniversary colorway, Vine number five. 
um, and Layla is not letting it go, so she's rather enamoured by it. Dada. Yeah, it says blue and vine. Now, what colour is the yarn? Uh, purple. Purple. Yeah, do you like it? Layla, do you like it? Yeah. Is it soft? Yeah. Yeah, I really like her Fitzy base for socks. It's a really good um, sock yarn and a bit more sturdy with the BFL over the merino. And then finally... Oh, that, 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 oh my. Okay, these, these were also a gift. These were from Amelia, who is the dyer behind Arctic Yarns. And she's Arctic Knitting on um, Instagram and YouTube. That, that, my, That's her label. That, that, okay, oh okay. So this is one that she's dyed, and then she also gifted me a skein of her undyed face as well I need that. and it's Norwegian wool um, Amelia is from Norway so thank you Amelia for that I hope you got home safely <laughs> and the table is bulging with yarn now like literally Layla has it all laid out in front of her she's actually done a pretty good job organizing by color let me just show you this like she's done a pretty decent job of it yeah you proud of yourself yeah. oh uh. we lost one yeah, well, you dropped it on the floor, didn't you? I want it there. Okay. I want it there. You happy with yourself? I need that one. Yeah. I, I need all colours. You got all the colours? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's all the yarn that I, we got. And, like I said, I only purchased one skein of yarn, and that was a skein uh, of moustache. Uh, 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 one second, can I show it to the camera first? It's a uh, skein of uh, moustache uh, yarn. Uh, I need the rainbow one. Yeah, it's a rainbow one. I, 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 need, to, I need Okay, it's in the Woodstock 50 colourway and it's her perfect self striping sock. So yeah. it's two 50 gram skeins that are perfectly matched to give you perfectly matching striped socks. And um, she was vending for the first time at Indian Tangled, so it was really uh, nice to finally I, be able to give I her a hug. It, mommy. Yeah, I know you need it, but mommy's just stopping it from falling off the edge here. Okay. M mommy picked Okay. Um, so yeah, I went to India Untangled with the expectation of just buying a skein of mustache yarn. I wasn't looking to purchase yarn otherwise. I'd already arranged with um, Candice of Farmer's Daughters Fibers and Sam from Lamb and Loon to pick up the uh, sweater quantities of yarn. Yeah, we'll do fiber in a minute. Mommy's just talking. Um, to pick up those sweater quantities of yarn prior to going and also the skein for the charity project from Leading Men. Other than that, everything I, else was I a bit of a surprise. In a minute, honey, in a minute. Um, it's, it's, can you stop putting these back in the bag? Oh, Mummy, can you put them back in here? Put the yarn back. Um, so the Leading Men Fiber Art sweater quantity and the Duck Duck Wool sweater quantity were both um, things I was not expecting to come home with. So that was... Go there. Yeah, that one can go in there too. No, no, no. Oh, no. I, All right. I... Yeah, so those were unexpected additions, um, <laughs> which, um, yeah, took me by surprise, to be quite honest. Like, it was uh, a lot more, ended up being a lot more yarn than I expected to. That, that yeah, that one can go there too. They all go in here. Yeah. That, that, that might Is it your yarn? Yeah. Oh. I need all the colours. You need all the colours? I, I need that colour. Okay. I, I like colours, Mummy. You like those colours? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Shall we do what Mummy got you? Do you want to show everyone what I got you? What your presents were? Well, what's the main thing that Mummy got you? Yeah. Can you show the camera? That's the back, can you show them the front? Yeah, mummy got you a copy of Sheep in a Jeep. Fibre. Okay, we'll do fibre as well. Oh, and the, one of the other things I got her was this little Hellraiser uh, pencil pouch, or to use as like a pencil pouch, for like her colouring pencils and stuff like that. Good girl. And then I picked up a few other little bits and pieces, but we won't. Read it. Are you gonna read it? Do you want mommy to help you read it? Moo! Sheep don't go moo. What does sheep say? 
Shall we show some more things? Okay, so a couple of the other things that I got from Indie Untangled, and this was very much like my birthday present to myself. Uh, I, oh, well, I say that, but I was gifted some um, money for my birthday to spend at Rybeck, and one of the main birthday purchases I. Yeah, you're gonna keep reading. One of the main birthday purchases I made for myself was this project bag from Nerdbird Makery. It says Feminist Knit, Knit Club Resist. Oh, are they trying to fix it? Oh. And um, yeah, so Tao had a very limited number of these bags at Indian Hangle. And I managed to snag one, which was really awesome. I I don't want fly. It's okay. I I don't want to fly. You don't want them to fly? Yeah. It's okay. They're not gonna fly. Look, they crashed. They went splash, and jeep goes deep in gooey mud. They landed in a big muddy puddle. Um, and in here I have a few other oh, little goodies oh, and things that oh, I picked up at the festival. Oh, messy. Yeah, they all got messy, didn't they? So the bag inside is actually really spacious and it's got two really good sized pockets on the back. What what goes in there? Yeah. They're supposed to be in there, aren't they? But they all fell out. And so in here I have a few other little goodies. Yeah. They need to drive. They need to drive? Yeah. Oh, okay. So other than the bag, other little like bits and pieces that I picked up over the weekend, I picked up another like um, a drive band for my wheel just in case I ever needed it. I picked up this little notions pouch uh, from Fully Spun at Indian Tangle, uh, and it says "We love color" on the back, which of course, if you know me at all, you know that I love color. What, and it's just a really good size. What, what's that doing? Pouch. What's that doing? They're trying to pull it out of the mud. The sheep are tugging. Just a really good size notions pouch with a really good zipper and it's a canvas but it's a brushed canvas so it's so it's really soft it almost feels like velvety soft and um yeah brooke who is the dyer behind fully spun yarns she was saying that a friend of hers makes these bags and like prints the logos and stuff on them by hand so i was really happy to help support her and if you've never used fully spun yarn i highly highly recommend it well they're trying to drive it they're trying to push it out of the mud aren't they um, I also bumped into a viewer who was very kind and gifted me um, this little bag of soy silk fibre. It's two ounces of soy silk fibre from oh, Indigo oh, Moon yeah. Farm. It's just a natural colour. So, and it's so soft, what, it's like what, a cloud. Uh, it's, it's, it's water. They're in muddy water, aren't they? Because the sheep are in there. The sheep, the piggies are in the mud. And playing, aren't they? Uh, I, I, I get out. Yeah, they need help. Um, Candice gave me this lovely pin, a uh, pin, patch from Sisters United and I also took part in their community weaving project that they were doing and got a skein of Labby Anime yarn on their yellow brick road colour oh, in their oh, super, nice. sock, super sock base, sorry. Oh, oh no! Nice. Um, a lovely viewer who has the yarn company fibre me this and she gave me one of her little mini skeins. Mm -hmm. lovely colours. More, more. Oh, they all fell out again. Yeah. Let me see if I can get this to focus uh, on the yarn. It's, it's, there it's, you go, see the lovely colours in that. It's wheel broken. The wheel's broken, can you show the camera what happens at the end? Yeah. Oh, they had a big crash and bumped into the tree. Yeah. Oh no. Let's see what happens after. The bump. Oh, see they all work together to tidy up. 
We learn they're fixing the knitting. We're tidying up, and then finally. Oh, 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 no! Chair! Yeah, the chair fell out of the truck, didn't it? The Jeep. Oh, oh, it's a little bit Well, look, see, they get to the end, and it's so broken, they can't, they can't fix it, so they put it for sale. Where? It's here. They've tucked, they pushed it up against the tree, and they're like, okay, does anyone come take it? Well done. I was read it again. You want to read it again? Mm. Okay. Well, I'll try and quickly show you these. I also bumped into the lovely ladies from Nomadic Knits and they gave me one of their uh, lovely enamel pins. The camera keeps wanting to focus on Layla. Um, I also purchased a couple of pins at Indian Tangled. One is the Five Friends selfie pin, which I felt was very appropriate because that was basically all we did that weekend was taking selfies. And I also picked up this pin from Shelly Karen. This is my Rhinebeck sweater. Yeah, that's what it says. And I thought that would be appropriate. Oh, yeah. Also got to spend a good amount of time chatting with um, Malia and Stephen from Stephen and Penelope. And they very generously gave me this. Oh, this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, very important things happening over here. Off the... They're falling off the, the jeep. Yeah. Um, they very generously gave me one of these little tins. And this is like their, um, uh, what's the word? It's like a swatch card <coughs> of all their colors. Lovely little tin with um, their little swatch cards in it. Layla has just immediately taken control. Can I just show them this one? And so I really love how no, they've done no, it. No, mommy. That, that, mommy. Okay, well then can I have this one? No, mommy. Can I have one of them? Just to show the camera. They're both for Layla, but can I show them to the camera? Thank you. So they've got these little cards uh, with samples of the yarn wrapped around what's that, each mommy? one. And then on the back it will give you what, the colourway name. That, mommy? It's a ruler. And so this is for their... No, um, no, mommy. Have oh, this. thank you. Thank you, I get the ruler. Um, so I really like this because I like it like this rather no, than mommy, in like a flat like page where you have all the colours oh, stuck on the that, page. Mommy? That's a sticker. Do you want it? Uh, you want to put it on? Put, put it. I'm going to put it. Okay, you going to put it on Layla? No, I'm going to put it on Mummy. Okay. Um, I like it like this better than when you get like the swatch cards that are just like, like I said with all the bits of wool stuck on the paper mainly because this way if I want to see what colours go well together put it here put it there thank you thank you for my sticker and you put it on the orange bit yeah. the reason why I like it is like for example say I want to use um, this blue and I want to see if it goes which grey it goes best with. Mama, I can mommy, I can it's, put it's them next to each cold, other. Mommy. Yeah, mommy's a little bit cold. That's why she's wearing her jumper. So you know you can put them together and see which grey it goes well with. Like you can actually move the colours around. Um, they've also recently come out with a new Layla. Shh. Mommy's just showing it to the camera. You can have them. That's fine. But mommy's just going to show it to the camera. Oh so these, these, the first batch that I showed you, the colours come on two of their bases. They've got the bicycle and then the tandem. So one is fingering weight, one that, is um, DK. So I think tandem is DK, what, bicycle is fingering. Bike? Yeah, there's little stitch markers. There's three little bicycle stitch markers in there as well as a ruler, which is always handy. And then they also have a new that, uh, yarn base that, that they've mine. released called Glow Hair. That, that or mine. Okay, they're all Layla's which is glow hair which is their um uh mohair Green. silk base and these are all Green. the colors that those ones come in there's loads of fun colors in here i love that yellow Green. um yeah there's all sorts of fun and Green. that tealy blue is really pretty loads Green. of really good colors and that purple so so yeah i want to come up with some ideas of what i might want to do with some of this and um see how that goes are you putting them on your fingers? Rings. Are they rings? They're a little bit small for rings, aren't they? They're a little bit small. 
Yeah. They're a bit small, aren't they? Should we put them back in the box? I like it, Piggy. I do that. Yeah. When you look bigger, you can use that for your knitting. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I, I want this loose my knitting. Do you want to use it in your knitting? Yeah. I, I, I will lose my knitting. Your knitting? Yeah. I can do. I, I can fight it my shop. I can fight the shop. You want to go find a shop? Yeah. What for? What are you going to get from the shop? I get knitting. Knitting. You're gonna go so, get you're gonna go get your knitting from the shop. Yeah. Well, mummy has all this yarn here. Do you want to use some of mummy's yarn for your knitting? Yeah. Oh, I want Epsilon. You want to use that one? Epsilon. But not right now. Should we do the fibre? Yeah. Should we show everyone the fibre first? Yeah. Okay. Let's put this away. Oh, I want that. Well, can we put them back in here? I want to show them the fiber we need to tidy up the table okay so let's just start with the big ones is it always Layla's <laughs> okay so the, this first batch of fiber is from Loop Fiber Studio that I picked up at Rhinebeck is it all mummies is it all mine Yes. <laughs> With some Loop Fiber Studio in um, at Rhinebeck. So I picked up two of her bullseye bumps. Uh, and I will say that Steph was Stephanie from Loop was incredibly generous and kind and um, gave these to me as gifts. So this is the first bullseye bump that I picked up and it's just these beautiful autumnal colours. As soon as I saw this, I was like, this has to come home with me. And this is her autumnal spectrum colorway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just can't get over that reaction. Um, <coughs> and it's a merino, angelina, and nylon blend. So that's got some sparkle in it, which I wasn't aware of. And I picked up another loop bump. Wait, 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 be careful, be careful. I'm going to lose the card. Oh, All right, well, I'll, since she's opened this up, I'll show this one to you first. This is one of her spontaneous spinning clouds that she has that you can buy by the ounce. And I got six ounces of this one, which is the Autumn Awesome Autumn colorway. All right, that's enough, Layla. We're going to put them back in the bag. Oh. Yeah, look at all that. Now that's going to all go back in that bag. Can you put it back in? Mommy, hi. Okay, Mommy will help. And so this autumn spectrum, awesome autumn blend is um, merino, ooh, bamboo, tuss of silk, and angelina. So there's some sparkle in here as well. Oh, oh no! You want to put it back in the bag? That, 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 that. Can I have that one? No, no. Can you put it back in? Too full, mummy. It's not full, it'll fit in, it'll squish down. So that was one spontaneous spinning cloud bag that I picked up six ounces of and then blue, blue one. yeah and then I also picked up this blue one which is the torrent colorway and this oh, one has merino I, nylon I, bamboo plus a silk and angelina in it and in here I have another little toy which I'll show in a minute no, 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 this is a Turkish spindle that, that I picked that, up that, that, shh, shh, shh. okay one second Layla wait it's sharp you gotta be careful with this one um, this is a uh, uh, midi. Uh, uh, I want mine. Okay, one second. Let me just give the information. That, wait, that, Layla, that, shush. Wait. That, that was knitting. This was spinning. Only. Okay, so this is um, a, a Turkish spindle by True Creations. I, I'm afraid I can't remember uh, the uh, store uh, I actually bought it from. It is a midi spin, uh, spindle uh, and it is 20 uh, grams or 0.7 ounces. And it spins really well. I've been playing around with it with some of this fiber. Rocket ship. Is it a rocket ship? Yeah. I guess it looks a bit like a rocket ship. It looks more like a sword. Are you flying? Is it flying in the sky? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, be careful, be careful with it because it's sharp. I don't want you to hurt yourself. But mommy. Yes, honey. 
This was this fiber. It was a lovely blues. And while Layla probably get, get, get out for me. We're not gonna take it out now. We're just gonna show them this last one before we move on to the other fiber. So this is another loop bump or a bullseye bump, I guess is what they're actually called. Well, let me help you then. I love how she colour coordinates these little end bits with the colour of the fibre inside. And the colour for this one is Enchanted. So yes, this one, be careful, be careful, be gentle with it. So yes, it is Marina, Angelina and Nylon. We're not gonna take it out, we're just gonna leave it in here. You feel how soft it is? So someone's getting a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna go grab her a snack in a second. But quickly, this is what the Enchanted colourway looks like. I just, again, was really drawn to this with the blues to greens to yellows. I just really love that colour there. So, I guess I'd better go feed my child before she screams the house down and I will be back in a minute to finish off the haul. Do you feel better now you've had a snack? <coughs> yeah, you feel better now? I, I just could. You had your juice? Shall we get back to showing the fibre? Okay, what should we start with? Oh, that. This one? Okay. You want to show that one? Just a little bit, we'll just show the end. You don't need to take it all out. Yeah. So this is the, these are all from Into the World at the moment that we're going to show. Is um, This is their Blue Face Lester base. This is the Mirepoix colorway, uh, which I believe is a French cooking term. <laughs> it's really lovely. Their BFL is really nice. And yeah, so that's that one. Then, uh, oh, oh. I'm gonna take the end out. Just we can just take this bit out at the end and show this bit. It, 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 oh. Yeah, and this is their marine colorway. So I guess this is a Game of Thrones oh, I, reference. I want it a bit out. Yeah, it's got a little bit out at the top. You should show it. See how fluffy it is. This one is an 85% pearl worth, 15% silk base, which is really lovely. Then we have this one. This is uh, Into the World, this is their Targi base in the Captain Tight Pants colorway. Oh no, we're gonna have lunch after we finish this. You just had a little snack to tide you over. And Targi is one of those fibers that I can't get in the UK. So I was really looking forward to grabbing some Targi fiber. Bit, bit hot. Bit hot. It's not hot, it's windy. Um, bit, bit, and so yeah, oh, looking forward mommy, to spinning this. Bit, bit, oh. uh, Captain bit, Tight Pants is bit, one of those. Um, no, 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 bit, bit, oh, bit, oh. Is it hot? Yeah. Okay. Captain Tight Pants is one of those classic into the world colours. At least that's how I interpret it. And I also picked up a bag of their odds and ends, which is just lots of little nuggets of fibre that you can use to spin with. And I think this is gonna be great for spinning on that Turkish spindle or just drop spindles in general. I think these little nuggets are great. So they don't take too long to spin. And if you feel like you've accomplished something. I I windy. You want it to stop being windy? Yeah. Well, I'm afraid I don't have control over the weather. I wish I did. But, um, but yes, that's, a bunch of these and that's what I got from Into the World stocked up and then I oh from um, India Untangled I picked no. up that much. I picked up this braid of fibre from that. Spun Right Round Ray and that is also a turkey base Ray Round. okay it's a Targi spinning fiber four ounce braid. Um, so yeah, excited about that one. Um, and then at Rhinebeck, I went to the fiber optics booth because they do some really lovely gradient yeah. yarns. And I picked up a few uh, of theirs. Yeah. So this is in the Onyx to Crimson oh, gradient the on the Merino silk base. You gonna show it? Okay, you're gonna show it? Yeah. 
way round. That way round, okay. And they also had a sale bin of fibre. So I picked up a couple from there as well. And these are both Merino Tencel 50-50. And one is the Bitter Lime to Rose. Oh. And this one is Copper ah, to ah, Third Degree. I, I, I want to see it. You want to see it? Yeah. All right, we'll open this one. All right. No, no, my, my. Like a snake? Yeah. What does the snake say? Do you want your mommy roll it back up and put it back? Like this. I'll only wind this. Do you want mommy to wind it up? No, no, my wind it. Wind it, 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 wind it. Wind it, wind Yeah, you did it. Good job. Wind, wind, wind. Ta-da. I'll open it back. So that, 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 that's what it's got to do. Wind, wind. Card, I, I did it. You did do it. Good job. That was very helpful. Then another fibre that I wanted to get while I was at my bag this year was Cormo. Shut the cookie. Excuse me? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so another fibre I wanted to get at my bag Shut. was... Stop what? Stop, Bobby. No, Mommy's talking. No, shut Um, another fiber I wanted to get was Cormo Mommy, and I knew there was two places that I wanted to get Cormo from okay you can have the sticker um, one was the Fox Hill Fibers Fox Hill Farm sorry booth and I ended up picking up a bag an eight ounce bag of white Cormo from them however that was one of the things I wasn't able to bring back with me so that is at Jacqueline's and Perry will bring that back in December and the other one was a farm, uh, was from a booth uh, by a farm called Marshmallow Farms. And I couldn't remember the name of the farm, but I remembered the booth because I remember seeing it last year. And I felt the Cormo, and this was just before I started spinning. And I remember thinking to myself, oh, once I've learned to spin, I definitely want to come back and get some of their Cormo next year. Anyway, um, I'd ended up chatting with um, Andrea Mowry at the podcast meetup on the Saturday. And she was set, she'd picked up some fibre from them and she told me that they were basically selling the farm. So this was their last year of ending. So pretty soon after that, I uh, ran off to go find the booth and grab some fibre. And they were out of their all white Cormo, which is what I originally wanted, but they still had a bunch of this fluff. And I really like the name of the farm. I loved like the marshmallow name. I thought that was really quite cute because their fibre is super squishy and marshmallow like. But I really like this because they've got two other natural colours in there. There's the dark brown and then there's this, like, this oat mealy colour as well as the white. So what I was thinking was I would spin all the white Cormo that I have, both from the Fox Hill Farm and from this one. And then I'd spin the other colours separately. I'd spin the other colours um, individually and then it could be a really fun like colour work project, like a colour work sweater with a white base. Yes, Layla? Do you want to show this one? No, no, no one. Another what one? Oh, We're not going to open any more right now, Layla. We'll open them once mommy's finished, okay? Uh, so I ended up picking up four of these. Oh, camera shaking. Sorry about that. Um, so I ended up picking up four of these. So a really good value. And like I said, the farm's going out of business. So, or they're being sold. They're not going out of business. The farm's being sold. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to get some of this in my stash. 
And the final thing I have to share fiber wise was a purchase that a friend of mine made on my behalf at Needles Up because I wasn't going to be able to go and I wanted to get some classy squid. And she picked me up two braids of this lovely blue. Um, this is the Nesta colorway and it's a Shetland Tatsu Silk blend. Okay, you open this one. Take a look at that one. And so she picked up two braids of this. And it, it was quite funny, there was a little bit of a misunderstanding with, with our text messages and this wasn't actually the, the colour and fibre that I'd asked her to pick up for me. But it's fine because I also really like this one. So even though I didn't get the one I asked for, I still got something I really liked. Mama. And she was very apologetic about it and like really upset that she would got the wrong one. Um, but I said to her, at least it wasn't hot pink. Because if she'd come back with hot pink, I'd have been like, what did you do? Do you not know me at all? But, you know, I really love this colour so it's not... It's not a bad thing. I'm not upset with the situation. I still got some really lovely classy squid fiber. <laughs> I still got some really lovely fiber and I am not disappointed at all. You wanna roll it back again? Can you show that to the camera? Look how pretty the fiber is. It's so pretty. I do. Yeah, good job, you figured it out. Way to go. Oh, I've got fibre in my mouth now. But that was it. <laughs> I say that as if this is only five minutes long. But I, I did it! You did do it! <laughs> did you have fun doing this video with Mummy? Yes. I want to put it in there. You want to put it back in the bag? Oh, we finished. Yeah, we're finished now. Should we go make lunch? What's that? We showed that one. You want to open it? You want to show it to them open? So that's it for the haul from Rhinebeck. I say that, like I said, I say that as if it was nothing. It was definitely something. Um, and like I said, there are a few things I left at Jacqueline's. Um, most of the stuff I was able to show you, at least some of it. I'm doing that. Yeah, but I will do. I'm, I'm doing that. <laughs> I, I'll show you the rest. I, I do. Yeah, I'll show you the rest of the yarn and fibre when it gets here. It'll be sometime Mama, in December, so we'll be doing Vlogmas. Okay, mommy, put it back. Uh, mommy, done. Done. Layla, done. So, um, I, so yeah, I, I'll show you that I, when it gets no, back. I'm done. Yeah. Are you done? Can you say goodbye to the camera? Bye. It was nice to see you. Bye. Bye bye. Say see you next time. See you next time. Say subscribe. Say like. And hit the like button. Hit like button. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I do this. I, I copy. You're copying what mummy's saying? Or don't sit on the back like that. Can you give mummy a high five? Boom! We did it! Yay! Yay, yay! Alright, see you next time. Bye! Oh, 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 little one. Oh, you want the little yarns back? Oh, oh, get it. Get it. Okay. I'll get it. See you next time. Oh, I...